I am told this is a garbage disposal. I've never seen a garbage disposal. I never had one in any place I've ever lived. It is terrifying. I don't know what to use it for or what its purpose is. Like food scraps, like is this environmentally sound? I don't know. <laughs> Who elected this woman? I think that there's a lot of people more concerned about being precisely, factually, and semantically correct than about being morally right. And if we work our butts off to make sure that we take back all three chambers of Congress, uh, rather all three chambers of government, the presidency, the Senate, and the House in 2020. AOC is crazy. If it was just once that she did something bizarre, then I'd understand it. But every time she opened her mouth. January 3rd, January 4th, we're signing healthcare, we're signing this. But they don't actually inaugurate Congress people, they swear them in. in. And then she went on to say that she was going to get inaugurated on the 3rd and then start signing bills on the 4th. You don't get inaugurated and you don't sign bills, only the president will sign the bills that you present to him. Well, this young lady, you know, I wonder if she's smarter than a fifth grader. You know, the, the benefit of capitalism is that you engage in voluntary trade. It is the system that unlike all the others, has lifted more people out of poverty over the course of human history than any other system. Well, so I think that uh, those things that you talk about, that you discuss, are part of the course of human evolution. Oh, my goodness, bless her little commie soul. But she appears to have her political colors mixed up. Hello, everybody. I'm so excited to be hopping on here, uh, Senator Sanders' account, and we're here in Kansas City to rally for Brent Welder. We're gonna flip this seat red in November. She knows absolutely nothing, and she's made to Capitol Hill. Yes, but I also think that what people are starting to see, at least in, in the occupation uh, of, of Palestine, I think it, what I meant is like the, the settlements that are increasing in, in some of these areas and, and places where, um, where Palestinians are experiencing uh, difficulty in access to uh, their housing and home. Do you think you can expand on that? Yeah, I mean, I think I'd also just, I, I am not the expert on geopolitics on this issue. You use the term the occupation of Palestine. Mm. What did oh. you mean by that? Oh, um. I would encourage you to sit still for a minute and learn the job. Oh!